44 Manta, the Air Force's plan for a Delta stealth fighter. The X-44 Manta design was ahead of its time. The X-44 Manta never made it past a design concept, but its short life influenced later stealth designs that may be taken up by the US NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, Sixth Generation Fighter. The Manta, an acronym for multi-axis no-tail aircraft, was a delta-shaped stealth fighter that had no recognizable tail section. This design specialized in low observability flight, perhaps even more stealthy than the fighter that emerged from this process, the F-22. X-44 uses thrust vector control. The X-44 goes back to 1999. Lockheed Martin was behind the design of the X-44, and Lockheed later partnered with NASA for its development. This was a single-pilot air superiority fighter that would have been 62 feet long. One of the main ideas behind the X-44 was thrust vector control which would grant it the kind of maneuverability that would overwhelm enemy fighter planes. Thrust vectoring means an airplane can change the angle of thrust to control altitude in an advantageous manner. This allows the airplane to change directions in a more aggressive manner. The X-44 was considered a test bit to see how an airplane without tailplanes would perform. This meant the airplane had what military factory described as a stretched delta wing main plane with side-by-side -side turbofan engines, namely Pratt and Whitney's, with 35,000 pounds of thrust. It was estimated that the airplane could achieve speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour with a 49,000-foot ceiling. The design would result in lower drag and more efficiency with better stealth capabilities, including internal weapons bays. The potential for a full payload of ordnance was impressive with a diverse load of sidewinders, AMRAMs, advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, precision guide bombs, and a 20mm internal cannon. The overall configuration would have allowed the X-44 to carry more fuel to extend range. As Alex Hollings wrote on Sandbox, if the X-44 Manta could have offered similar performance to the F-22, while also being even harder to detect, it may have been enough to push this aircraft concept off of Lockheed's notebook pages and into their production facilities. But it wasn't just stealth the X-44 did better. It also carried a whole lot more hate, he said. If the X-44 would have been stealthier than the F-22, it stands to reason that it was the impetus behind the NGAD program. The NGAD will likely have the wedge-shaped, tailless design of the X-44. No-tail aircraft, a design the NGAD will likely take on, creates a lower radar signature. The Air Force has reportedly built a prototype of the NGAD and taken it on a test flight. The Navy has its own NGAD program, a sixth-generation fighter to replace the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet called F-AXX. Funding for this project has been allocated in the latest Pentagon budget proposal. NGAV thus is likely going to be an outgrowth of the X-44. The notable takeaway here is that the X-44 was designed over two decades ago, and it remains to be seen whether the Air Force and Navy versions of the NGAV both reflect the X-44. Thus, this is an example of back to the future for sixth-generation airplane design. X-44 Manta, the old experimental plane that could shape the Air Force's new fighter Way back in 1999, Lockheed Martin had a plan to feel a delta-shaped stealth fighter that skipped the need for a conventional tail section in the F-22-based X-44 Manta. Instead of using a conventional tail section with both vertical and horizontal control surfaces, the Manta aimed to leverage thrust vector control or directing the flow of the engine's thrust to give the aircraft the acrobatic capabilities it would need in a high-end dogfight. Today, more than two decades later, that same concept appears to be found consistently across nearly all official renderings of the Air Force's next air superiority fighter being developed under the NGAD or Next Generation Air Dominance program, begging the question, could elements of the X-44 Manta have found their way America's next top-of-the-line fighter? Last year, the U.S. Air Force shocked the world with the announcement that they had already designed built and tested a prototype aircraft out of their next-generation air dominance program. 
This new jet promises to be more advanced than any fighter to ever come before it, designed to not only do battle with the advanced fifth-generation fighters being churned out by America's opponents in Russia and China, but to dominate them for decades to come. At right around the same time, the Air Force also unveiled a birthday-celebrating image seemingly showing a wedge-shaped aircraft with no conventional tail section prompting some to wonder if the artist's handiwork had anything to do with the NGAV announcement that came alongside it. Since then, other official images out of the Air Force, along with renderings from prominent aviation firms like Lockheed Martin, have all shown similar wedge-shaped aircraft. Some, including me, have pointed toward Northrop's highly capable, but ultimately passed over YF-23 Black Widow Hue as the stealthy precedent for this tailless design. But Northrop isn't the only show in town that knows how to build a stealth fighter without a tail. In fact, based on some artist renderings and the practical limitations of developing a new fighter on a short fuse, the X-44 Manta may represent an early iteration of what has, or will become at least part of America's next prize fighter in the sky, X-44 Manta, or the multi-axis no-tail aircraft. The X-44's name or more appropriately, its acronym, get straight to the intent behind the concept. After decades of rapid fighter development, some things had simply come to be considered standard fare for a capable tactical aircraft. Things like a conventional tail section with vertical and horizontal control surfaces, while both the F-22 and later, the F-35, adopted slightly different tails than you find on a non-stealth fourth-generation fighter like the F-16. The X-44 Manta aimed to pull off the same sort of maneuverability without the need for all those tail surfaces. With no tail section, the aircraft's radar return would be dramatically reduced, creating an even stealthier fighter than America's highly capable F-22. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's useful. Have a nice day.